Hey, I just want to take a minute. Bo asked about uh, this IDX add-ons and kind of explain what that is for people that are using Go High Level. I'm just going to give you a real quick overview of this. Basically what it is, is you log into idxaddons.com with your IDX broker API key. And we have a suite of free tools for you to use. This is um, folks that use Realty Candy as their developer partner with IDX Broker. There's no cost for you to do that. Once you you have your access activated here on IDX add-ons, um, you have access to all this stuff. All we ask you to do is shoot an email over to IDX Broker. Your payments continue as they are to them, and you get access to all this free stuff. We get essentially a, an affiliate payment from IDX Broker, and that's how we fund the development of all this uh, software and tools. So having laid out that caveat, this is the dashboard here. Um, we have some of the apps that this client has recently used. These are some of our newer apps. Um, this one actually is this open house one is one that we uh, started making. Uh, Jason asked about it. Uh, he's a go high level uh, user. And so he needed this app and, and so we built it. And I'm gonna show you a few of these. So real quickly that we have some agent tools in here. This is um, kind of cool listing map agent shows each agent's featured listings. That's their own listings on a Google map widget. And you can just load this into any platform. It works on the actual go high level uh, websites. You can put it on Wix, you can put it on WordPress, you can put it on Squarespace, you can put it on any, uh, any WordPress uh, thing. If you have an office account, you can have uh, agent access. You can give your agents access to this stuff. We have a place here where folks can load up their API keys. One of the ones that we're going to be adding in here is to be able to add in their high level one. We actually recommend that you use Bo Ray's uh, integration over at Focused Engagement. We've worked with them and we've built some software that, that works really good. Um, but basically all these apps, you can just get them and, and pop them into your website. So I'm going to show you a couple of them that folks are using quite a bit right now. Um, there's this one that's the chat GPT, uh, oh, that's busted. So one of them that we have is the one-click community pages. You can basically just select a city out of your uh, MLS. You type in a community name here. So we're going to just put Abington. And we're going to use the chat GPT tool to communicate con or to build content for our page and the Yelp uh, business widget. I hit create. It's checking if that page already exists. It looks like it didn't, so it's creating the saved link. It's going to generate all this content from chat GPT. It takes about 20 seconds to make one of these pages. And uh, it's it basically will build something that looks like this. This will have the, the lowest price, the highest price, and the most popular homes in your area. Let's take a quick look at one, an example here. This is on a live client site, so this is... This is basically what it looks like. Load up a page like this. Here's the most popular home in their uh, IDX account. This is the one that's looked at the most. This is the one that's the most expensive, 3.7 million. Looks like this one is the least expensive. The number of properties available in that town, the average price, average square foot, average price per square foot, average acres. Have some Yelp data. And then you can see here that this is the content chat GPT generated. It's a beautiful suburban community. This area is ever changing. Another reason to real estate investment is great is because of this. And so all these things, and now we show load up all the listings for Abington. And you can make this for every town in your area. And these you can just see it takes 30 to 60 seconds to make one of these pages and they load up just like that on your site and all your users can look at them. So that's that's a great tool. Um, we have search tools uh, for folks that 
want to add a search to their website, you can just come in here and change, you know, the sitting settings, which options, how you want to sort it, which statuses you want to use, you know, if you want to show some of these. And basically, just grab this code snippet, put copy, and you can pop it anywhere on your website, and it'll just load that up, um, and, and folks can see it. So here's here's an example of what this one looks like. Now all I have to do is copy paste that code, and I'll have something that looks just like this. If I modify this, you can see there's you know advanced fields settings. Um, I can go through here and change which search tools I want to use. I can change different search criteria, the values that I want on my searches. And uh, again, there's some styling. I have a couple of templates for this search. And I can also come in here and change any of the, the colors or sizes or anything. If I wanted to use that color, then I can just set that right there. Um, I can set up address autocomplete information based on the different properties available in this MLS, and things like that. So that's that one's really popular. Another one that a lot of folks like is the Google uh, community maps. And you can basically just pop a, a map in here um, into your website. We have several different widgets. You can just put them on your, on your website. We have the Plunk Home Valuation. This is another one that a lot of folks are excited about. You can put in a, a phone number here and uh, then you can you get a, a home valuation widget on your website that looks something like uh, I guess I don't have it installed here, but it looks like this uh, plunk widget right here. And uh, you type in a location, it uses Google map lookups. And we're given we give away 58 valuations per month for all of our clients for free. Um, we have oh, folks like to use the styling, so you can style all the colors and everything on your website right here in the back end. You don't have to know how to do a bunch of CSS, so it styles everything on the IDX. We also have templates that you can search using with these map templates that we've made. Um, you can. Uh, we also have some some apps here. You can switch this one over, you know, to use Google Maps. We have a bunch of details layouts that you can again choose from any of those. And then we have some apps where you can add SEO links. You can add the Plunk Home Valuation. You can send text alerts. You can add Plunk Market Insights. You got all these mortgage calculators, all these things you can add here. Each different uh, template type, and and you can preview these right down here. Those are the, we're working on the Pure IDX, which are the, some websites that are really fast and furious for uh, go high level. We've, we're working on a new one that we're going to release here in about a week, and they're optimized for go high level. But the the heart of this whole thing is this the apps department here. So we have tools that custom search forms that run your leads back into IDX Broker. Oh, I was going to show you that open house uh, feature. So you can just add open house to the back end of the URL on your website. And when a person looks at a property, it'll give them signups and, and stuff like that. So all you have to do is stick this little code snippet on your site or ask us to do it and it, and it works. So there's a whole bunch of tools um, back here that do all kinds of different things and uh, help build out content if you want. There's data graphs, there's counts, there's SEO links so that every piece of information basically becomes uh, becomes a uh, an SEO link uh, for your site and uh, Google Map widgets. This one, uh, there's geolocated saved links, which a lot of people have been excited about. What another high level client. Uh, had us make that for them. These uh, Google Map widgets are pretty cool. You can set wherever you want the map coordinates to be. You can go and look up somewhere here, and then you can change the settings here, show which kind of listings, adjust the zoom. 
And then when you preview these widgets, it gives you something like this, right? And then you can just embed this anywhere on your website. All you have to do is just grab this code snippet, copy, paste that on your website, and it's going to show all this data uh, for your for your area. So those are a few of the things. If you're interested, we'd love to set up a tour for you and show you IDX add-ons. It's free. All you need to do is just go to idxaddons.com and sign up. And uh, if you go here to idxaddons.com free, if you already have an IDX broker account, just hit any of these email things. It'll send that email over to IDX broker. If you don't have an IDX broker account, just click here and uh, get signed up. And all this integrates with Go High Level.